Welcome to an introduction to Silent Sitting. This recording is part of the Contemplative Builder audio series, and I am Chuck Dunning, an author, advocate, facilitator, trainer, and consultant in contemplative practice, mentoring, and leadership. This series and much of my other work is focused on the development of contemplative practice within the context of speculative masonry. Persons who are not speculative masons are welcome to make use of this series, but may find it referencing Masonic ritual experiences, symbols, and concepts without explanation. These recordings are provided to help listeners experience various contemplative methods and states of consciousness. It is hoped listeners eventually learn to guide themselves through these methods and enter the corresponding states without the assistance of recordings. Because this recording is designed to facilitate changes in consciousness, you should not listen to it while operating a motor vehicle or other machinery or performing any other task that requires your attention to maintain safety for yourself or others. This particular recording is designed to help you learn the basics of silent sitting, a practice common to many different meditative systems. Although some details of the practice can vary from one system or teacher to another, the essential practice is to still the body, quiet the mind, and simply be present to oneself in a calm and peaceful state. There are numerous physical and psychological benefits to this practice which can be experienced not only in the moment of the practice itself, but which accumulate and carry over into other aspects of one's life. Silent sitting is foundational to a number of spiritual and philosophical traditions and preparatory for the development of other contemplative practices. While it is widely regarded as a starting place for novice meditators, it is nonetheless also the mainstay of inner work, for many highly experienced practitioners. If you have not already done so, take a moment to turn off any phones or other things that might disturb your meditation. While you do so, consider that the possibility for external distractions almost always remains a part of meditative practice. Try to cultivate an attitude that distractions are simply opportunities to gently and calmly refocus on the meditation, which is good meditative practice in itself. The more deeply rooted this attitude becomes, the easier it is to remain peacefully centered within yourself, no matter what else might be happening around you. Now, Settle into a comfortable position that you can maintain without moving until the contemplative activity has finished. Your spine should be relatively straight with no twist or strain in your neck or back. Closing your eyes is recommended. However, if you prefer not to close them, then allow your eyes to relax and steadily gaze upon some point directly in front of you. If you wish, this would be a fitting moment to invoke spiritual assistance in whatever way is meaningful to you. Slowly take in a deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Slowly take in a second deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, Pause. Slowly take in a third deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Now inhale and let your body breathe in its own peaceful, natural rhythm.
Attend to the sensation of the earth's gravity pulling down on your body. Feel it pulling your feet against the floor. Feel the gravity pulling down in your calves and shins. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your thighs and buttocks, pulling you into your seat. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your hips, belly, and lower back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your rib cage, chest, and upper back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your shoulders and neck. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your upper arms, forearms, wrists, and hands. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your jaw, your tongue, around your mouth and in your cheeks. Feel the gravity pulling down around your eyes and in your brow. Feel the gravity pulling down in your scalp on the top of your head, around the sides, and down the back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Now feel the gravity pulling down from the top of your head all the way through every part of your body down to the soles of your feet. If you notice any unnecessary tension anywhere, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Turn your attention back to your breath, flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. You simply observe it flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation.
you can go into an even deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation by silently marking the breath with the word in as you inhale and out as you exhale. In, out. Just continue observing the breath flowing in and out in its own peaceful natural rhythm as you continue silently repeating in, out. Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Let go of marking the breath with the words in and out. Now is the time to just sit in silent stillness, attending to the quiet space of consciousness in which all thoughts, feelings, and sense perceptions arise and disappear. If you find yourself becoming distracted by such things, gently return your awareness to the silence. It may help to once again focus on the breath, perhaps internally using the words in and out to assist you, and then letting them go to again sit in silent stillness. Patiently repeat this process as often as necessary. Now practice attending to the silence until I return to end the meditation.
Now, attend to the sensations of your body. Feel the gravity pulling you down into your seat and your feet against the floor. Feel the air on your skin, the breath flowing in and out. Hear what you hear. Smell what you smell and taste what you taste. When you are ready, open your eyes and see what you see. The meditation has ended. Feel free to move and stretch your limbs. Observe your thoughts, emotions, and physical feelings and how they might differ from before you began the activity. It is highly recommended that you take a few moments to reflect on your experience, perhaps even writing down some notes for future reference. To what extent were you able to relax and follow instructions with fullness? What was easy about it? What was challenging? What was most meaningful and why? How might repeated use of this activity, with or without the recording, be helpful to you? What additional studies or research might be useful? Thank you for participating in Silent Sitting. Once again, my name is Chuck Dunning. If you want to learn more about the Contemplative Builder audio series, my writings, my presentations or workshops, then please visit chuckdunning.com. Until next time, I wish you peace and harmony.